Back at it again, it's real. Shalom. I'm actually getting tired, y'all. Uh, as I said, I was trying to give uh, some information to break this down to the simplest form. And I like to use my hobby right here, my cars, my collection, to break it down. So I was, you know, looking at everything that's going on and how can I relate this information to y'all to the simplest understanding possible. And this took me back to one of the first videos I did using my Hot Wheels uh, maybe four years ago. So check it out. We're going to break this Bible down and understanding and the creation of all people, nationalities, which in the scriptures, when they use the word nations, they mean nationalities. So let's take it back to the beginning. I'm going to share some videos from scripture. Let's take it back. Noah, let's say this truck is Noah. Noah had three sons. Shem, where you get your Shemitic people from which the 12 tribes are Shemitic people, not Semitic. Those people using Semitic stole that identity of the Shemitic people and they created a religion, which is Judaism, a religion. Back to it. Noah had three sons, Shem, Ham, where you get your Hamitic people from, your Africans, Egyptians, and Jephthah. So let's break it down. Then we're going to the 12 tribes. And I'm going to distinguish the splitting of the tribe of Israel, the 12 tribes, into the northern and southern kingdom. Whereas your northern kingdom is where you get your Latino and Native American people from. Your southern tribe are the Jamaicans, the Haitians, and the Negroes here in America, not Africans. Okay? So follow me. Use these cars as I'm using them to break this down so you can see what the Bible is about. It's about a God his power, and his people. We're going to start this off with the southern tribe, Judah. Israel, Shalom. Coming to y'all today. Uh, I want to share with y'all the foot. Yeah, so I was just following up with some uh, information I was bringing forth video I had posted detailing about the three sons of Noah and uh, the difference between Hamites and Shemites. So a lot of people were coming on there with comments saying that I'm trying to divide the black man and this and that, you know, trying to hang on to this Hamite understanding. Yeah, so the, uh, the bottom line of it was... Uh, in that video, it was detailed, and I'm not sure where I got that information from, um, showing the difference between a Hamite and a Shemite. Hamites being Africans, spirit chucking, bone in the nose, whatever you want to say. Uh, not Shemites. They're not Israelites. They can't grow the facial hair, the beards, the goatees, the dreads, the afros, etc., which identifies and shows that we're different than the Hamite. Yes, we fled into Africa and hid amongst them. Uh, fleeing prosecution from the Romans. Uh, so, no further, no further ado, I'm going to show you where this information came from and uh, where it all makes sense. Let me pull it up. Okay, yeah, so, see if you can bear with me. I'm trying, I just got this phone. I've got, I've got this new phone. All right, you can look this up for yourself. 
It's going to be a short video. But if you can read that, showing the difference between a Hamite and a Shemite. Now, as we go to the video, just bear with me. All praise to the Most High. Punishment to deal with. 
Hold on one more time. Okay. Here it is. Took me a second to find this. And that's clear information and documentation showing you that Shemitic people, Negroes, as we were sold into slavery, the bill of sale said Negroes for sale. Noah's son, Shem, is not Ham. And this is going to bring some uh, understanding into the everything as it lays out. Even with our Latino brothers, you know, all this revelation coming forward, you're going to have to take a position in identification as an identity. You're going to have to acknowledge that you're Shemitic of the chosen children of Israel. Because if not, you're either going to be claiming to be Esau or the seeds of what's left, a mongoloid or Japhetic Asians. Because see, with those understanding and taking on that identity, same as the Negro, the Southern tribe, if we take on the identity of Ham, there's no blessing in that. Only the seeds of Shem are blessed because the blessings came down into Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And this is how this all plays out. Our forefathers are Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, who never knew of a Jesus. They only praised the Most High the creator, not Jesus. And just seeing how this all fold out, folds out. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Isaac had an older brother named Ishmael, who is the forefather of the Arabs, who took the Bible when we fell into the curses of Deuteronomy they were pissed off because they were the older brother and the blessing was handed over to Isaac. Whereas Isaac gave it to his son, Jacob. Ishmael created the Quran, which is nothing but the Old Testament. But they simply added in their God, Allah and Muhammad and all these other idols to worship. Jacob is our forefather were the seeds of Jacob. Jacob had a twin brother named Esau, who is the white man. There was another white man formed in Genesis, the Gentile. Now, they are all Gentiles 
identified by the Most High. Ham is a Gentile, but there was an original Gentile. That's your other white folks. The same as we got different dark people from Shem and from Ham. Esau is not the only white folks. White folks, Edomites, blood so forth through their skin. They're the pink ones, like Trump. Elon Musk and Putin will be Gentiles. Nevertheless, these are all Gentiles. Esau was born in the womb with Jacob as a twin. He was a white man. He was of a different nation. Two mannerism of different people. Jacob gave birth to the 12 tribes of Israel, which the Most High split the tribe of Israel into two. And to the northern kingdom, the northern kingdom, trying to keep this in the throat, and the southern kingdom. The southern kingdom consisted of three tribes. That's your Negroes here in America, your Haitians and your Jamaicans. Which we identify is Jacob, Jacob's children, all of them. But as the southern tribe, Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. Judah being the Negroes, Benjamin being the Jamaicans, and Levi being the priesthood of the Haitians. And then you have the northern kingdom. which be, would be our Latino and Native Indian brothers, South Americans, etc. The king tribe of them would be Ephraim. I'm going to read off these tribe names as they are identified in the Bible. We have Ephraim, the Puerto Ricans, Manasseh, the Cubans, Asher, the Brazilians and Venezuelans. Naphtali would be the Hawaiians and the Samoans. Issachar would be the Mexicans. Zebulon would be the Colombians. Gad would be the Native Indians. Reuben would be the Seminole Indians. And Simeon would be the Dominicans. So that's how that plays out. So as identity, like I said, all these children are, are, are suffering from the curses of Deuteronomy and being punished and disrespected and violated and murdered by Esau, Edom, and the Gentiles of this planet, which is why the Most High wrote the scripture of Obadiah Detailing why he's going to do what he's going to do to Esau, Edom, and the Gentiles, the heathens of this planet. So as I said, it's, gonna, it's at a point right now. Black folks claim to be African Americans, something they not, claiming religion, Claiming a uh, Democratic Party, Republican Party, whatever. This this was a punishment of Deuteronomy. So we're at this point right now, even the Negroes and the Latinos, you're going to have to choose from the options the most high leaving. You're going to choose an identity that was given to you through a punishment where there was no favor in it. Or you're going to start acknowledging who you are and seeking the most high. Because that's what's required now, once you understand his power. He wants his children back. 
This was strictly a punishment. We're not to love our oppressors. So let's get into some more scripture and video and seeing what's all proven. Color that are here that have been brought here from Africa, their ancestors brought here from Africa are the Hebrew Israelites. Um, they're even in the Ur uh, African dictionary. African and Negro are two different things, are two different classifications of people. Brothers and sisters, blacks of America, it's you. You are the true Hebrews. You are the true Hebrews from the Bible. I would interject that the true biblical Hebrews are the so-called African American people that are scattered abroad throughout the world. The real Jews were Hebrews, black men who used to call their... Now, the only race of people that were brought over on ships and sold as bondmen and bondwomen, which are slaves, are the so-called African Americans. Specifically, the people who have been sent all over the earth on slave ships, those people are superior, even in the Most High's eyes himself, because those people are the Israelites. And there's a scripture that says, not only it says if you bless them, you'll be blessed, but there's also one that says you have to cling to them or you can't even be saved. I know the black people here are the true Hebrew Israelites. I know that. No matter how much fact, no matter how much scripture you all are presented with regarding who the Hebrews in the Bible were and who they are in the earth today, which would be the so-called Negroes, Hispanics, the Native Americans, the Aborigines. You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are the biblical Israelites. We're at end times, and like I said, um, the spirit that I got on me from the Most High when I came into this truth a little over five years ago, uh, it's overwhelming, man. And to see with everything that's written, even with this Corona COVID thing, to see the destruction that's designated for the Edomites, but all of us that's following them We'll go with them because this was a punishment. And to see everything playing out the way it is, like I say, I got family members taking this vaccine, my own dad. I'm at a point right now, I don't care. I'm not, I'm not worrying about uh, hurt feelings. If this offends, if the truth offends you, go with them. This is good as it gets. This is your kingdom. Enjoy it. I'm trying to save my people, man. My black and my Latino brothers, my people. Everybody that I've witnessed growing up, going through what we have went through that is written in Deuteronomy 28. We are those people. And the Most High is coming to save his people for the kingdom to come. This is what I'm doing, trying to get them out of the way. This is my Latino brother right here. Like I said, uh, I tried to reach out to him. Uh, he's on the spirit of uh, following Yahweh Shai. But nevertheless, this is our people. He's in ignorance, believing there's a Savior, Jesus, out of the New Testament, which anything of the New Testament that can't be supported by the original Testament, which they deem the Old Testament, is how you know they wrote it in with their Jesus, their new God. So nevertheless, this is a Latino brother from the uh, Northern, Northern Kingdom Prophets. That's his name or his uh, page. But check out what he brought forth. This is one of the Mexican brothers. All right, so um, what I wanted to get into was the E5. <clears throat> the, uh, the 12 stones. This is a breastplate that the uh, Levitical priest would wear on their chest during their rituals. All right. Each one of these stones stand for one of the 12 tribes of Israel. All right. Right, I'd like to 
zoom in on one, but this, uh, it's not letting me click on none of these. Or, as you can see here, the Levitical priest wears 12 stones for 12 different tribes. I wanted to get into what um, different stones they are, but you can see they're diverse, right? Even their um, Shalom, uh, not Dav 23, Shalom, Akya, Akyam, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh, Shah, Barakathan, Shalom, brother. Uh, buenos dias. So I'm going in on the 12 stones. They're even their uh, molecular uh, makeup is different from one another. That means they emit a different light, every one of them, right? They emit a different light. So they're uh, reflecting a different light of the, the spectrum, which is different frequencies, right? <clears throat> Light waves come in frequencies like red is a high frequency um, light wave. Then black and purple will be a low or slow or longer wave. More um, mounds, you know, rounder and longer. And then the red would be like a fast, um, sharp uh, sound waves. Oh, not, so they're the same thing. Um, light waves and sound waves, right? The way they come at your eye, the way your eye reads them. So red is real sharp and fast and goes up and down really quick. And like purple or something would be slow, slow and long and round, right? So would blue, white, I'm not sure how white light wave uh, looks like, but my point is, is the 12 tribes of Israel are going to be diverse. And um, Emmanuel Hernandez Shalom, most high in Christ, bless you. Um, so my point is, is that the font is on the priest's chest and every one of these stands for a different tribe. So this means not every one of these tribes is going to be the same. They're going to be different and have their own um, special characteristics and uh yeah, that's it. They're going to have their own special characteristics because even the molecular structure of these stones are different, right? And whoever's saying like, oh, it's going to be all Latinos or all Blacks, this is just, this is very elementary, right? All Negroes. That's elementary. That's elementary school. You know what I'm saying? That is way too simple. The most high don't get down like that. You know what I mean? This is how he get down. He showed you right on the ephod what he had planned to do from the beginning. All right? And it's right here in the 12 stones. So let's get the scriptures. Right? Um, let's start with... See, I'm going to go through the speckled bird, the speckled bird, the speckled and spotted sheep. These are all, these are all um, scriptures that I'm going to get into. Diverse fruits from 12 different trees. All right, so let's get first Jeremiah 12 and 9. My heritage is unto me as a speckled bird. The birds round about are against her. Come ye, assemble all the beasts of the field and come to devour. So the Most High set us up to be cursed and be destroyed by our enemies now because we quit following his law, statutes, and commandments, right? So these are the people on the earth that are going to be under this curse still. That, you know, the, the enemy come from far, just like it's saying Deuteronomy 28 and 49, from the end of the earth, right? And all these heathen nations are going to devour your land, take your resources, this and that. Right? This is a curse that the 
the children of the Most High God are going to be under right now. We're under punishment, right? But if it wasn't for this punishment, I would have never be talking to you brothers, right? I would never be talking to you brothers, and I would never be on this level that the Most High got me on now. Through the spirit and power of his Yah Bashem Yahusha and his grace that he bestowed upon me. Right? The spirit and power of his Yah Bashem Yahusha and his grace that he bestowed upon me. Right? I'd be dead. I'd be in prison if it wasn't for this truth. I'd be dead. Or I'd be in prison for the rest of my life. I'd be dead just like my baby brother and my, my father. I'd be in prison like my two baby sisters for life. Alright? But through the spirit and power of Yah Bashem Yahusha. And his punishment, and me looking around, seeing all my people cursed in the way they act. Chicanos are crazy, man. You know what I'm saying? Chicanos are crazy, man. You know what I'm saying? Chicanos are like, and the women, are, they just buck wild, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Um, just like, you know, Chicanos are more like Judah. You know what I mean? As far as like their moralities and everything. At least like I'm talking about. Um, you know, hood ass, hood ass brothers and sisters, you know what I'm saying, that I was raised with and the things that I seen in life. With. But I'm telling you, what I'm trying to say is my point is, is if it wasn't for these things, me looking around, well, why is everybody so acting so damn crazy all the time? Drunk, crazy, violent. You know, why are these people acting like, you know, and the men just act a fool? This is the point being shown the power of the most high. I'm going to tag that brother's video in this uh, as a link. It's showing you the power of the Most High. We all got the attributes of the children of Israel through the curses of Deuteronomy. They do not deny who we are, but we are not Hamites. And our Latino brothers are not Mongoloids or Edomites. As the book of Numbers detail from them being colonialized, they would mix with them as part of the punishment. That's why some of them have lighter shades of skin. The Latino Mexican word for black is Negro. It ain't African. All praise to the Most High. I hope this was edification for my people.